Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the inverse variation. This is the second video for the series of variations wherein last time we have discussed about direct variation. So if you want to watch that video, I will put it here and the link of that video will be posted in the description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the inverse variation. Let's read the definition. For two quantities with inverse variation, as one quantity or variable increases, the other quantity decreases and vice versa. So comparing inverse variation with direct variation, in direct variation, if one quantity increases, the other quantity will also increase. And if one quantity decreases, the other will also decrease. But in this case, in this inverse variation, if one quantity goes up, let's say for example, if your x goes up, what will happen to y? It will go down. But if your x decreases, your variable y will increase. That is the behavior of the quantities or the variable in the inverse variation. And this is the formula that we're going to use. This is the general formula for the inverse variation. We read this as y is equal to k over x. y is equal to k over x, wherein your k is the constant of variation. And we have here two different statements that can be translated into this kind of equation. We have y varies inversely as x. y is inversely proportional to x. So these two statements are examples of inverse variation wherein this one can be translated into y is equal to k over x. Now we have here two different problems, two different first problems for us to solve in inverse variation. In number one, find the equation and solve for k. Okay, Find the equation and solve for k. So in this case guys, we are given y varies inversely as x. Again, we have y varies inversely as x. First thing you need to do is to create an equation. So y varies inversely as x is this one. y is equal to k over x. And sabi dito, solve for k. Sabi dito, and y is equal to 6 when x is equal to 18. So what will happen here is to, to find the value of k, to find the value of k, we will substitute the value of y and x to this equation. We have now 6 to replace y is equal to k over 18. Now, to us, for us to find the value of k, we will simply cross multiply. Cross multiply, and then multiply. 1 times k is k, and 6 times 18, what is 6 times 18? 6 times 10 is 60, tapos 6 times 8 is 40, therefore k is 108. This is now your k, this is now the constant of variation for item number 1. And since we are asked to find the equation and solve for k, since we already have the value of k, we will replace k with the original equation that we have. Ibig sabihin guys, your y is equal to 108 over x. This one is the variation equation. Okay, this one is your constant of variation. So we are done with item number one. Now let's move on with item number two. For number two, if y varies inversely as x, so we have now this statement. So we could say that this problem is under inverse variation. And let's break it down y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 4, another separation. Find y when x is equal to 6. So 
we will deal first with the first phrase, y varies inverse ksx. So we will translate this as y is equal to k over x. Now to solve this problem, find y when x is equal to 6, we need to find first uh, the main equation of this variation by using these two values to find the value of k, okay? So your y is equal to 3, then your x is equal to 4. We will substitute this in this equation that is 3 is equal to k over 4. Cross multiply, cross multiply, your k is simply equal to 12. This is now the constant. Now, as for the constant of variation, using this, we will replace k by 12. So our new equation is y is equal to 12 over x. So we will go now with the main problem. Find y when x is equal to 6. So your x is equal to 6, your y is unknown. Okay? So we will replace x by 6. Your y is simply 12 over 2. And simplifying this, this will give you the value of y as 6. Now, as you can see, ah, sorry, uh, I have a mistake here. Your x is equal to 6, so we will change this into 6, sorry. This is 6. And simplifying your y, this is 12 over 6, so your y is equal to 2. So we can replace this by 2. Now, let's observe if we can satisfy our given, um, the given characteristic of inverse variation. Diba sabi, if one variable goes up, the other goes down. Or if one variable goes down, the other variable goes up. Sorry nga para sa akin mistake. Uh, I replaced uh, x by 2, but the actual value of x is 6. So therefore, this is 12 over 6. And y is equal to 2. So let's continue. As you can see, your x here is 4. Okay? Observe lang natin. Your x is 4. Your x is 6. As you can see, from 4 to 6, the variable x goes up. So the tendency for the value of y, it will go down. So yeah, the variable x goes up, the variable y will go down. From 3, it became 2. So as you can see, this one is definitely an example of inverse variation. In the next part of our video, we will solve more problems about inverse variation. Now let's have the third problem for the inverse variation. And it goes like this. The number of days needed in preparing the house varies inversely as the number of men working. It takes 15 days for two men to repair the house. How many men are needed to complete the job in six days? So this one is a work problem wherein uh, there are a certain number of men who are working to repair the house. Again, repair of the house. That is the job. So mentioned here that this one is varies inversely. Ibig sabihin, this one is an inverse variation. So, ang advice ko dito is for you to understand better or well the main problem before solving it. So, the number of days needed preparing the house varies inversely as the number of men working. So, the two variables here are the number of days and the number of men. So, we have two variables. So, we will represent the number of days as d and for the number of men be represented by letter m okay so we need to to use two variables we have the first variable which is the number of days d number of men is m so we'll create an equation first the general equation which is so the number of days varies inversely as the number of men working. So we can have the equation as d is equal to k over m. Now, sabi dito, it takes 15 days for two men to repair the house. Okay, See, this sentence will help us to find the constant of variation or your k. That is important. So you have here D is equal to 15 days and your 
man, number of men is equal to 2. So we will replace if, uh, D and M. So it will become 15 is equal to K over 2. So as you can see, we can cross multiply to get the value of K, which is K is equal to 30. This is now our constant of variation. Okay, this is our constant of variation. Since we already have the constant of variation, we can create an equation. Your new equation is D is equal to 30 over M. 30 over M. And now let's go with the main problem. How many men are needed to complete the job in six days? So we have this given information, six days. So meron tayo ngayon value ng D is equal to six days while the number of men is unknown. I think it's solved natin na yan. So we can solve. So we have here six is equal to 30 over M. So what will happen is we will cross multiply first. M times six is six M. One times 30 is equal to 30. And to solve for M, divide both sides by six. Cancel, cancel. Your M is equal to five. So the question here, how many men are needed to complete the job in six days? This is the answer. We needed five men to complete the repair of house in six days. So we can answer this as a statement. Uh, we need five men to repair the house in six days. And this is the answer for it. Okay? You can answer this or you can express it into this sentence. So as you can see, this one is uh, definitely an example of inverse variation. Remember guys, when there are many men working, we can lessen the number of days or the time we needed to accomplish a job. But if there are lesser number of men, therefore, we can consume a lot of time to finish a job. Therefore, this one is definitely an example of inverse variation. So I hope, guys, that you learned something from this video. And if you have any question or suggested topic that you want me to discuss, feel free to comment down below. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!